Hi there, it's Allison Tips here, international author, speaker, and coach, and I just finished shooting a video when I saw a message pop up in my LinkedIn account, and I decided to create a video um, based off that question. Uh, one of my network connections asked me, how do you know when when and where to go into a new city. Um, this particular person, I believe, is a speaker, he's an author, he's a coach like myself. So for my advice for him was, and I'll share it with you as well, is to go to your list. Your list is like gold. Your list can give you so much information and direction on where to go, what to promote, how to promote, when to promote. So what I suggested to this person was go through your database. If you already have all their information, like their name, email address, phone number, their address, then do a quick survey. You know, download it into a, a Excel spreadsheet and then, you know, do a, a filter and see, you know, which cities you have the most people from. So if you have 50 people on your list who are from Portland, then it may be a good idea to start reaching out to that specific group of people to talk about you know, launching an event or doing something with those specific group of people. Or maybe invite them to help you to promote an event and give them uh, an affiliate benefit for promoting your event to fill up a room. Um, also, if you don't have a list, which you should have a list, if you're not constantly focusing on building your list on a daily basis, then you're missing the mark. And if you have any questions about that, just comment below and I'll put your, you know, comment below and I'll answer those questions for you about building a list, but that's really important. If you don't have a list, um, some things that you could also do, for example, is hosting webinars or teleseminars. A lot of those platforms will allow you to create a registration form. So when you do that registration form, just make sure that you put city and state as a part of that registration form. So once you have completed your webinar or teleseminar, you can see everyone who registered, You can, and it will normally come into an Excel spreadsheet as well, and just, again, sort by city and state, and you can see you know, where geographically most of your listeners came from. And if it's from a city that's where you're not from, that could be a good indicator to get started to start marketing to that group of people. Maybe make a trip out there. Reach out to your, uh, you know, social media connections to see if they'd be interested in you coming out to um, their city and doing an event or, you know, launching a new business or a storefront. So utilize your current database, your current customers or clients. If you don't have a list, build a list and make sure you include how to get their their addresses, whether it's city and state, so you can do some more research. So hopefully that helps you. I thought I would just share that in a video format with you. If you have any other questions, just feel free to comment below and I'll be sure to answer them. So this is Allison Tibbs, international author, speaker, and coach. Hoping you're having a great day and working on expanding your business to a new city, a new country, a new continent, and do some research on your list to figure out how to do that.